Our Lord Jesus Christ said in Luke chapter 18 verse 1, Men ought always to pray and not to faint. Paul said in 1 Thessalonians chapter 1, I mean chapter 5 verse 17, pray without ceasing. And everywhere in the Bible we are, we are commanded to pray. Jeremiah 33 3 says, Call upon me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things that you don't know. Why are we commanded to pray everywhere in the scripture? It is because there are things that happen that is beyond our explanation. Some things happen in our lives that we cannot trace it to any bad thing we have done in the past. Some things are clearly attacks of the devil. Some things are some of the things our forefathers have done, the consequences. Sometimes it comes even to our heads. And this is why we need to pray without ceasing. Good morning. You are welcome to I Prevail with Joseph Adenuga. As usual, the Almighty God put a word in my mouth to speak to you this morning, to encourage you, to motivate you, to inspire you, to empower you, and to help you to live a life whereby you prevail over situations and circumstances that sink many people's destiny. And today I pray that God himself will intervene in your life. Anything that is happening in your life that did not come as a result of any sin that you have committed, whatever the devil orchestrated in your life, whatever the devil make to be in your life that you didn't plan for, those who hate you and plan that you should go down, God will put them to shame. Whoever is using any form of spiritual power to attack you shall fall and not rise again. God will make you to rule over your enemies. God will empower you to prevail over situations and circumstances that are contrary to your will. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Remember yesterday I was talking about the fact that whatsoever we sow, we shall reap. I was talking about the law of karma, the law of you know, cause and effect, that many things that happen to us is as a result of what we have done directly or indirectly. And yet that is very true. But today I want to go a little higher than that. Many times things happen in our life that we have nothing to do with it. There are people who just don't like us. They just want us dead. Some just want us to go down. Some want us to get sick and not recover from that sickness. And that is why the Bible talks about the spirit of wickedness. There are times your parents may not have even seen any sin. Sometimes it is not you are, what you are going through is not a consequence of what your parents have done. It's just a direct assault and attack of the devil. And this is the reason why our Lord Jesus Christ said in Luke 18.1 that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Because if you can faint in the place of prayer, the devil may have an upper hand. Do you know that there are some people who hate you for the job you do? They are planning that you get out of that job. If you are high, if you occupy a high position in that job, there are some people who are lower, who are of lower cadre in that job, who want you dead so that they can occupy your position. You see, there are some people who don't like you because of you know the the, the country you live. Some people, when you travel abroad from your country, they are firing you. You don't know. They are doing spiritual things to bring you down. Some, some people, they want some people to go back home with nothing. If you are, you know, from another country, if you're a foreigner in any country, you need to pray. Because sometimes there are forces that are against you. Some forces don't want you to make it in that country where you are. And some countries do, and some forces don't want you to make it from the country where you came from. Some people, they are fighting you because of your husband or because of your wife. They, they, they are jealous of you that you got that good man, you got that good woman. And so even though you have done nothing wrong, they still want you dead because they don't like you. 
And sometimes some people want the very thing that you have, the very blessing that God had given you. They want you to fall down dead so that they can inherit that blessing. You need to pray. Jesus Christ said, pray without ceasing. It's a serious business. In Ephesians chapter 6, from verse 10, he said, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord. You need to be strong because we are fighting a battle that is not flesh and blood. And this is why the Bible says in Exodus chapter 15, verse 3, he said, God is a man of war. The Lord is his name. God is a man of war. The Lord is his name. And in the book of you know, Psalm 144, verse 1, he said, God, teach my hands to war and my fingers to fight. God, teach my hand to war and my fingers to battle. If God is your father and is a man of war and is teaching your hands to fight, is teaching your fingers to battle, you cannot remain, you cannot sit down and just wish that things happen. You need to rise and pray. You need to do something about your situation. It doesn't, good things doesn't come by wishing. And that's why an Englishman says, if wishes were horses, every beggar will ride one. Wishes, is, you, you cannot get it by wishing to get it. You cannot overcome the devil by wishing you overcome. You need to do something. And what you need to do is pray. And this is a serious prayer. Not just uh, this simple prayer or you just close your eyes. You keep quiet and say, in Jesus' name, I have prayed. Which prayer? It's a serious prayer. You need to pray and speak in your mouth. Hallelujah. You see? In the book of Numbers, chapter 14, 28, God said, whatever I hear you speak in your mouth is what I will do. You need to get speaking words. You need to get speaking against that situation. You need to get up speaking against that thing that is ravaging your family. You see, something came to steal up your child, your daughter, your son, and you are fighting your daughter. Instead of you to get to the root of the matter, rebook the devil and let it flee from you. Let me tell you, the responsibility is in your hand. Jesus told you what to do. You need to pray. He said, men not always to pray. He said, ask and it shall be given unto you. And I've said it so many times on this platform, fight the right fight. Don't go fighting people. Don't go doing the wrong thing. You fight the devil. The Bible says he's going to flee from you. This is the word this morning. Think about it, please. Rebroadcast this to people. Get somebody blessed. I know that I know that somebody is going to be blessed when you send this to them. Rebroadcast this. Make sure you do rebroadcast this. And God will bless you. Thank you so much. Uh, they have stolen that and my number that and it's been difficult to recover it. So if you got this and you want me to send this directly to you, please save this number. This is my new number. The former number is gone. We couldn't recover it. And the former, this number is plus two seven seven eight four zero eight eight zero four seven. If you love this message and you want me to send it directly to you every day, please save that number. And from that number, I'll be sending it from now. Thank you so much. It is well with your soul. This is your brother, your friend, your pastor, Joseph Adenuga. Today is Thursday. We are having a powerful service in Springstown. If you're in Springstown, Johannesburg area, it's in the town, 2nd Street, almost opposite Top Center Club. Come half past five. It's going to be powerful. Come and hear the word of God. Today is Bible study. In Bethlehem, if you are there, Kodiso is the place, and half past five is the time. Go, ministers of God are there to bless you. Thank you so much. It is well with your soul. Once again, Joseph Adenuga signing out this morning and saying to you, be blessed and remain blessed.